There is no industrial hum under the skies of the Navajo Nation, and the stars float bright and naked in them, the urban gauze of pollution far away, unveiling someone else's view. And in that clarity, all you hear is the song the earth decides to sing. Well, that and whatever noise you make yourself. The crackle and whoosh of wood as it burns under a bubbling stew pot is some of my favorite music, and visually it can be mesmerizing and evocative. Fire burn and cauldron bubble. Granuel intoned, staring into the orange heart of the blaze of our campfire as she quoted the witches from Shakespeare. The words triggered a memory, and I shivered involuntarily. My apprentice caught it as she looked up from the fire. What? Are you spooked by those fictional hags? Not the fictional ones, no, I said, and Granuel grew still, staring at me. Oberon, my Irish wolfhound, was curled up outside the stones surrounding the fire pit, and sensed that some tension had crept too close to his warm repose. He raised his head and spoke to me through our mental bond. Are you okay? What's going on? Granuel wasn't bound to the earth yet, and she couldn't hear Oberon, but she had learned to pick up some of his cues. If Oberon's asking you what's up, I'd like to know too. What made you shudder like that? I briefly wondered if I should tell her, or dodge the question, but then remembered she had already seen plenty of things through her association with me that she'd never unsee. The visage of hell, for example, Norse goddess of the dead, was nightmare fuel enough for any lifetime, and she hadn't cracked yet. It's a bit of a story, but I suppose we have the time for it. We absolutely do, Granuel agreed. We have a fire, honest-to-goodness stew that's been cooking all day, and some beers in the cooler, and no chance of being interrupted. She waggled a finger at me. That's key. Indeed. Well, it's a story from England, shortly after the death of Queen Elizabeth, when Shakespeare had a new patron in Scottish Jimmy. Scottish Jimmy? That was what the irreverent called King James back then. That was the politest term, actually. We're talking about the namesake of the King James Bible? Precisely. Hold on. I know you have all of Shakespeare's works memorized, but did you actually meet him? Not only did I meet him, I saved his life. Granuel gaped. She knew that my long life had acquainted me with a few celebrated historical figures, but I could still surprise her. How have you not told me this before? Shrugging, I said, there was always a chance we'd be interrupted before. And as you said, that's key. And I didn't want to be a name dropper. So is saving Shakespeare a different story from the memory that made you shiver? Nope, it's the same one. Granuel clapped her hands together and made a tiny squeaking noise, which made Oberon thump his tail on the ground. What are you getting excited about? I asked him. I don't know, Hedekit, but she sounds really happy, so I'm happy for her. Did people in England have poodles back then?